everybody, Johnny B. Good here, just going through the uh, guard shack here like I was told. And by the way, I got a question from Padden58. Why some truck don't stop? Do all truck have to stop at the scale? Yes, all trucks, all commercial vehicles are required to stop at a uh, state scale. But there is this gadget which you buy and you pay monthly called prepass. What that is is just like a toll, uh, like a like an easy pass transponder and if your score, your trucking score is good enough and you have one of those transponder there's a some electronic gizmo on the highway prior to the scale that will give you and okay to bypass or you're required to go in there's a little gadget that you put in your dash nah, not any bigger than this and uh, if it's a green light then you just keep on going through the highway and if it's a red light then you have to enter into the scale and once you're in the scale, they have a bypass lane and they also have where you really have to go into the scale and weigh your truck. Most of the time it's random and sometimes it's they do set their computer by, uh, by the weight. If your truck is a certain weight, overweight, or whatever, kind of a like, uh, it's also like a lottery system. Okay, truck uh, door 126. I keep yakking on you guys, and I don't know, forgot to, forgot to uh, remember what door I'm in. Okay, 126, which is this one, which is good, because then I can, I can just back up my truck without having to open the door first. Normally, if you're assigned to a, a door, if you were, if I was assigned to the door next to that Trans Am there, I would be so close enough to him that I will not be able to uh, I will not be able to open my trailer doors so that would require me to open my doors but since there's nobody next to me I did that in one pull-up. That's pretty cool. All right. One of the things that I was expounding on yesterday is, okay, normally if I back up my truck right now to a door, right? Back it up, set my brakes. Let me back up. If I was to open my door, back up my truck into the dock, and set my brakes this will happen watch this when I pull this I will bleed the air out right see the truck will actually roll the truck will actually roll about uh, six inches If I if I don't set my if I don't bleed if I don't bleed my airbags on my trailer 
and I back it into a door, my truck will slide six inches forward and the dock plate will be somewhere here or down here and somebody will have to come back out here and tell me to back it up and you just you end up losing a lot of time that way So the air airbags are depleted. All I gotta do is push that in, releasing the brakes, and then let's back it up over there. I hope you guys could see that. There. Okay, so now I've got the truck tension on on the door so what I do is I'll press on the brake put it on neutral set my brake release my foot from the brake and then now I can turn off the engine pick up my bills from the floor Now every time I start the truck, this will automatically cancel, which is a pain in the butt. Got to go through the computer cycle. Uh, it's set for maximum cold at 50 degrees. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys want to go to the office or not, but uh, eh, why not? You guys wanna? You guys are so curious about trucking. I just can't deny your opportunity. I guess. Ha ha. Now normally what I'm doing right now is I'm writing the total case count uh, case count and gross weight because I'm gonna need that information to get a lump uh, comp check this is the gross weight L B S and then uh, 1567 case and that stays there then we go to the office Check in at right here. Hello, Mr. Lumper, sir. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Please sign in at the clipboard. All right. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. See, I told. You.
about the people who are paying up. You better not let me catch you with a real black pin. So I'm going to the right and the left. Uh, you watch YouTube? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Okay. What is that? Hey, yeah. Camera over there? Yes, sir. What you doing with that? <laughs> it's just a trucking blog wherever I go. And a lot of people in Europe are interested in what U.S. truck drivers do. And we're interested in what they do. And I want to check it out. But, uh, I want to check out the truck blog. There. I do. I might want to go on the road. I actually been thinking about it. Man. I also do a uh, motorcycle blogging, so that's my name, and just type that, and you'll see all my videos. You're saying you make more, I make more money than you? Yeah. Now, how much yeah. money did you make last week? $4.59. I'd be lucky if I brought that home last week. Yeah? Yeah. Trucking, you know, and all that anymore, man. I mean, they got so many restrictions now, it's not even funny. It's, it's hard to make a nickel. Huh? I made like a couple hundred bucks last week. Yeah. After I sit at warehouses and then, uh, by the time you do that, you can go to Walmart and sit for five hours and they unload 70 hours, 70 pounds of pillows. And then your clock runs out. Yeah. Yeah, we only have like what, 14, 15 hours or something? You got, you got 14 hours to drive 11 hours. Well, everybody knows you can't drive 11, you got to find some place to go. And that's getting harder and harder by the day, too, to find some place to get your clock runs out. Get this, they want you to drive 11 hours in 14 hours, right? And they give you 70 hours in a week. Whatever you drove seven or eight days ago is the available hours that you have today. My question is, what does it matter how much I work I did eight days ago? I don't even remember what, where I was eight days ago. Why not make it simple? As long as you can prove that you've been off duty for 10 hours, then let the guy work 14 to uh, 11 hours. Instead, they, they got this, all this government bureaucracy of, I mean, it's all design of tax. That's all it is. It's all on the driver. It's all, you know, it's designed to make revenue for the state. But, I mean, I understand about safety, but as I said, if, if why not let the guy take a 10 hour break and just like you guys are, you know? But. And most of these guys that make up these rules never even saw or step in a truck. <laughs> most lawmakers of what law they're trying to pass don't know jack about what they're, the law that they're passing. 